Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a first impression on the Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service by A.G. Otsuka and Hosui Yamazaki. Um, this is the 3-in-1 Omnibus by Dark Horse. These were released in single editions, however, they are single ones are out of print. Um, and I believe that these Omnibus ones are even on their way out at this point. I could be wrong, but... This is, like I said, first three volumes of the series, and it is basically about these, I think there's five students at a Buddhist university in Tokyo. They're looking for some extra money because it's difficult for them to find a job, and uh, they all kind of have sort of supernatural, but then also some of them aren't supernatural powers uh, that lead them to form the Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service, which basically is they find dead bodies and then fulfill the wishes of the corpse, the final wishes of the dead person in order to release their soul and allow them to move on. Um, usually it is m murdered individuals um, or people with kind of troubled and disturbing pasts or, or things that have led them to be a corpse. And it is quite graphic. If you are squeamish, stay away from this. It is extremely disgusting um, and graphic. It also has some sexually explicit themes that are kind of uncomfortable. Um, so if that is going to bother you, then stay away from this as well. Um, the parental advisory is absolutely there for a reason. But all in all, really, really enjoyed this. I unfortunately do not have Volume 2. I have Volume 3 and 4 of the Omnibus, but Volume 2 was chapters. I ordered it and then chapters looked around for it for a few months and then said, sorry, we don't actually have it. So uh, my order was canceled. So now I have Volumes 1, 3, and 4 of the Omnibuses, but not Volume 2. So I cannot read any further than this. But anyway, uh, I really, really enjoyed this. It is dark and twisted, and it is a, it is a comedy um, as well. There are some comedic moments. There's some hijinks between the five kind of the five main characters. Um, but all in all, it's a dark kind of mystery, murder mystery thing. It's really enjoyable if you like dark, twisted, gross kind of things. It is, I guess, classified as a horror. It's also a mystery as well because each uh, chapter focuses on a different body and then you kind of unravel with the main characters. You unravel how the person died, why they died, um, and, and what has led them to that corpse. Um, in order to help the, the person who died move on. Uh, but yes, our main character down here, the bald guy, can uh, communicate with the dead. Um, and kind of like... I don't really know how it works. They like connect with him and, and kind of reanimate themselves. The corpses do. So they kind of come back to life for a bit, but they're still dead. Um, it is kind of creepy and unnerving and weird but still lots of fun to read and try and find some art here uh, there's a good one with the characters the art's pretty simple the characters are are pretty simple the backgrounds aren't anything to write home about but i think the art fits um and it gets during the scenes that are extremely graphic, it gets much more detailed. Um, there's lots of innards and bodies being mutilated and stuff like that, and that's where the art really shines. Um, whereas the scenes where there's no graphic content, it's kind of bland. Um, but I think that makes the shock factor of those really disturbing scenes even more impactful, because all of a sudden there's tons of detail and tons of stuff going on, whereas normally it's kind of bland and a lot of white backgrounds and, and not a lot of stuff going on. Um, 
But yeah, if this has ever intrigued you, I highly recommend picking this up. If you've read it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, absolutely let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, so Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service, definitely would recommend if, if dark, twisted graphic stuff is your uh, cup of tea. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.